Hi guys, welcome back. So on today's video, I'm gonna be making, uh, I'm gonna be duplicating these two uh, two candles that are being approved for my for my candle line. So what I'm gonna be doing, guys, is because I know soy bliss has been a uh, the soy bliss wax has been out of stock for a while now. Uh, so I'm gonna be recreating these two candles using PB600 and compare uh, the quality of both candles and to see whether or not PB600 can uh, match the quality of uh, soy bliss. Okay. So I'm gonna go get the uh, the the secret uh, the magic formula because it's on the paper in on, on the vault. So I'm gonna be taking out the fragrance oils and I'm gonna be taking my uh, PB600 and I'm gonna be making the candles and I'm gonna be using the grill using these two containers, guys. So I'm gonna be recreating the formulation from the soy bliss wax candles that are being approved for my candle line. I'm gonna be using uh, PB600, so let me just put this in here. And of course, we're gonna have to let it cure for a couple of days. And so I'm gonna be showing you these candles on our live stream next Sunday, okay? So let me just get everything ready, guys, and we're back. Yes! Okay, guys, we're back, so let me just show you. Okay, so we're gonna begin duplicating the candles, and I'm having here the, uh, the formulation in front of me. So this is the secret formula here, guys. So I'm gonna be using the same testers. Uh, and I'm gonna be using the same wicks that I use for the other ones, which are, were uh, LC, L60. So I'm gonna, do we have any pieces in here, maybe? I have a few pieces in here, maybe. Yeah, I got these two pieces from the other candles. So I have, I'm gonna be using these ones. So that way I save. <coughs> Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making my own. Okay. So let me just bring you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. So this is gonna be great guys for you to know uh, whether or not I'm happy with the PV600, whether or not it, it performs the same, or uh, I don't know, you know, I just wanna see how, uh, I just want to compare them both. Uh, I don't want to trash uh, PB600. I think uh, that wax has given me uh, very successful candles, you know? So if it's the only thing available today, why not try, you know? So the only change, the only difference is that I'm not gonna be adding Vibar, okay? Uh, because like I told you before, the only way I was able to get a decent HD using PB600 was by adding uh, Vibar 260 but I want to walk away from uh, putting additives on my wax. Uh, and let's see how, no, let's see what happens. You know, maybe this week series, maybe they will burn better and will give me a better burn and more HD. Who knows, you know, it, you can only know just by trying, no, it's the only way. So me knowing that I have already two candles that I'm ready to, for production, I just want to mimic the same candle using the PV600 and give you all my honest results, guys, because we are here to help each other out, you know, and if something works for one and it doesn't work for the other one, I just want to let you guys know, you know, that for me, this is the, the, my experience. I mean, we are all here to share our experiences, you know, our successes, our failures, uh, because it's the only way we're going to learn and it's the only way that we're going to grow. And again, I love this. I love this big series, guys, because it's this, this is very rigid, you know. So you don't have to put any. You don't have to worry about them turning or uh, like moving or anything. But even with that, I like to put some. Of this. I'm gonna put some of the, one of these, and then I'm just gonna name them candle one and two because I have written here the formulation, so it's the same. The only difference is gonna be uh, the wax. So guys, I, ju I just got a haircut at Evolution Hair Design. My friend Dennis, he cut my hair. He's the best. Such a nice guy, you know? He's from Brazil. Okay, now time to get the oils ready. And what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna, uh, like I told you, I'm gonna measure the, the wax. Let me just get the, uh, uh, the two cups. Okay. But first, let me do the oils combination. 
and then I'll go get the wax because I know it's gonna be messy. Okay, so I'm gonna get the oils ready, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we have in here oil number one and oil number two. These are the candle number one and candle number two. Okay, so I'm gonna be uh, now getting the wax and I'm gonna measure the wax. And I need for every candle, I'm going to need, let's see, 2.5 ounces of wax. So let me just go get the, uh, the PB600 and I'll be right back, let me see. Okay, 1.3. Okay, so this is for candle number one. Candle number two. Pair. Three. A tiny bit more. A speck. 2.5, perfect, okay. Okay, I'll need to label this because I know one is number one and the other one is number two. So let's go outside and turn on the, the grill and Start cooking our new candles. You know, and I really want to show you these guys because uh, oh, I'm also curious, you know, it's in. I want to see, you know, it's how this works out. So I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to turn this on. So all we have to do now is just wait for that to come to heat, for this to melt. And in the meantime, let me just go get the, the candles and put them in here. So I got the shipping yesterday, guys, from Amazon. These are my favorite uh, containers, guys, because it's it gives me the depth without having to be. Uh, it's only four ounces, uh, and but they on, they only take two point five uh, ounces of uh, of wax. So this is great, you know, for testers, you know. And like I was telling you about, I don't like to use the other ones; the ones that are flat. Like, I don't like to use these guys for samples anymore uh, because if I if I have somebody uh, test it for me, you know, it, and I want them to give me their opinion, you know, I don't want to risk them. I don't want to risk them just uh, taking this and just and leaving it uh, on a surface um, because this could burn very easily. This is very, very shallow. So sometimes I noticed that when I was burning this kind of myself, uh, the, the, uh, the wick base, it tend to move and it went to the side. So you have to be very careful, guys. I will not recommend this to do uh, as testers anymore. I mean, if you, this would be good if you wanna use it for melt, you know, so you can put it on the melter, and, but not for testers. All these waxes, they like to be uh, worked on while, they, while they're hot. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's a natural soil, you know, it likes to be hot and so, to separate spatulas because they have two, dif uh, they have two different uh, formulations. So I'm gonna put this video up tonight, guys. I'm not gonna be able to give you the results on the video because uh, it takes a couple of days for this to cure. So I wanna give them a, 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 I wanna be fair, you know? It's, it's not fair for me to say, oh, I don't have any smell, I don't have any CT because you have to give the, the candles a chance to cure. Okay, I think this is perfect. Okay, turn it up. Don't get scared, guys. This is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna add the oils. Number one. Number two. Spatulas. Time to stir. This, they recommend 20 seconds for this. For this wax, so I'm gonna stir for 20 seconds. I'm gonna take them off the heat. Just put them in here. So I'm gonna put them over here, they come off the heat. It's a very hot, so just... And I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit. So, it's fine. Now I'm gonna just mix it. Just get it closer here. So I'm mixing number one, I'm mixing number two, and letting it cool. At the same time, 
They cool rapidly because they are very small uh, amount of wax. Mix very well. And guys, don't, don't be scared of this, okay? Don't be scared of, of, of overheating the wax because this wax is not gonna burn, okay? You'll burn it if you go to 250 degrees. You could burn it, yeah. But when it's like this, don't worry about it, it's fine. Okay. Stir, stir, stir. To make sure that everything is blended. Like I've seen a lot of postings of people are showing pictures of the candles that they, they are like uh, oil is zipping out from the top. And that's because guys, you didn't uh, blend uh, the wax properly, you know? So if you don't blend the wax properly, you're not gonna get the nice, uh, you know, an accurate blend. So it's the candle is not gonna perform as it should. Okay, let's look at the temperature now. One ninety-eight, perfect. One ninety four. Okay, let me just move this a little bit this way. Put it aside. Temperature on this one. One ninety eight, perfect. I'm gonna pour two. Okay. So let me just clean up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. So let's do a quick recap guys. So what I'm trying to achieve in this test is I'm, I got in here candle number one and candle number two that are approved for my candle line to start production. But being that I know that a lot of people are trying to get the, uh, the soy bliss wax and it's, uh, it's been uh, out of stock from so many places. Uh, so I decided to try and do replicate the same candles using PV600, which is the wax that I was using before I started using Soy Bliss. And I wanna compare uh, the results uh, on the candle to see uh, does it matches the quality of so uh, Soy Bliss. Uh, if, if it's not, uh, does it matches uh, the HT? Uh, does it match the CT? Uh, the finish of overall of the wax? I, I just want to compare them, you know, it's like, I think the best way to do this is like just running a test like this one and replicating the same formulation from one candle to the other one, okay? So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna wait until uh, Sunday coming up. Uh, let me see what day it's gonna be. Sunday it's gonna be, today is the fourth, let me just, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna give the results of these candles guys on Sunday. April 8th, which is next Sunday coming up on my live stream at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. So you uh, come by and check it out, okay? In the meantime, I'm just gonna let them solidify, uh, you know, and there's nothing I can do um, to give you uh, any more like heads up. Uh, um, you know, it's, I just hope that this works out, you know, for all of you guys that are really like trying to get, you know, um, a good candle, you know, out there. So I just wanna, you know, I just wanna show you, okay? So, so I'm gonna leave the video here, guys. Don't forget next Sunday. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna give you an update of the candles. So uh, it's been three hours since they uh, they uh, they uh, solidified. So this is candle number one, which is the same uh, formulation for this one. This one is soy bliss. This is candle candle number two, and this is uh, candle uh, number two from soy bliss. Let's see. Okay, so this one is tobacco based and this one is floral based. Uh, so let me see if I can uh, smell any uh, CT. Hold on, let me see. This is the floral base. Let's see if I have any CT. No, I don't have any CT. And then let's see this one. Okay, no CT. Okay, so I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not expecting to get CT after two hours. So I'm just going to close them up and let them cure until. Sunday, now I'm gonna see you on my live stream. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to run a, an HT test on Saturday, the day before. And I'm gonna let, let you know guys, for, so I just wanted to end the video here guys. So, okay, so I'm gonna let them cure now until Saturday. And I'll talk to you, uh, I'll see you on Sunday, August 8th, 12 noon, Pacific Standard Time, okay? Bye.